Hi, this is Hillary. And Anna Maria. Reporting under the marquee on our first impressions of Kubo and the Two Strings. I, okay, it's a gorgeous oriental fairy tale, visually absolutely stunning and fascinating and fabulous in a whole bunch of ways, and I'm not entirely sure that it's a kid's movie. I'll be interested to hear what you think. Um, you, make, you raise a good point. I hadn't really thought of it. I was just so wrapped up in the magic of the movie and transported to an entirely different world that I hadn't really thought of it in terms of adult versus kids. Uh, I'm going to have to think about that one because I just fell in love with it, but you do raise a good point. Let's go back to my place and talk it over. Kubo's mother was a daughter of the moon god. When she fell in love with a human samurai, her father sought vengeance, and she fled with baby Kubo, while her lover gave his life to cover their escape. Kubo grows up in a cave near a village, where he makes a living for himself and his mother as a storyteller, using his magic to animate origami sculptures that act out his tales, but only by day. By night, he has to be inside to keep his grandfather from learning where he is. When a ceremony that allows the villagers to speak to the dead takes place, Kubo tries to summon his father's spirit and stays out too late, and the moon god's other daughters, his aunts, come to capture him. His mother tells him his only chance of survival is to find a legendary sword, armor, and helmet, and she sends Kubo off while she expends the last of her magic fighting her sisters. Now Kubo, accompanied by an animated ape charm and a beetle warrior he picks up along the way, must traverse a magical landscape fraught with peril to find the weapon and armor he needs, or his grandfather will destroy him. Okay. Okay, what did you like? Um, <laughs> I love this movie. Uh, the, not just the animation. I mean, it's gorgeous animation, gorgeous artwork. I love the story. I love the heart of the story. I particularly loved the, the climax and the ending. I did not see coming. It, and it just, it captured my heart. It really <laughs> did. Um, the, the story arc of the characters was wonderful. Uh, yes, there were a few things that I saw coming and one I had a little mm -hmm. bit of a, a problem with, but overall, this was absolutely fantastic movie. One other thing that I absolutely loved about this movie is how the um, um, musical instrument played into the ending. Oh my God! I'm just the the message that that gave was what what pushed the movie beyond just a mere animated yeah. movie. Or I shouldn't say mere animated, but, but yeah. it, it took it that extra level for me. When I say the title Kubo and the Two Strings, there's a reason I say the whole title. Yeah, I kept, and I kept, that question was in my mind through the whole movie. What, is the, what do the two strings refer to and how do they work into the movie? Mm -hmm. And it's magical. How about you? <laughs> Now that's interesting because it didn't capture my heart quite as oh, much. It caught my the heart. the visual work was just stunning. Um, it's a gorgeous movie, and I'm not that much into visual, and it was just. But there were so many images and 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 metaphors yeah. and things that were just the, really beautiful. The points of views on some of those mm -hmm. um, looks, you know, looking up at stuff and looking down, <laughs> just. Breathtaking. Yeah. And the fairy tale world was fabulous. It's this, this gorgeous, perfect Asian fairy mm -hmm. tale. Um, one thing I particularly liked was the system of magic. And when Kubo uses his, his three string guitar to animate his origami sculptures, yes. every time that happened, it just blew me away. Yeah. Um, there's a lot to like in this movie. However, Okay, um, so what didn't you like? Okay. <laughs> What's your however? <laughs> it worked really, really well on an adult fairy tale level. For kids, I think it's going to be too dark. His mother dies twice. <laughs> His father... Dies twice. Dies <laughs> twice, yeah. yeah, you know. <sighs> and it's a very bleak... I think it would scare little kids to death. Oh, it's not a little the kids ants, movie. No, you know. No. I actually, I, and I don't think that older kids who wouldn't be scared 
would actually like the story. I, I think it's too delicate a fantasy and for for younger kids. Um, I I actually I think I put the age of this movie quite old, but okay. What didn't you like about it? Okay. Um I understand what you're saying about the age. Mm -hmm. I would actually think older kids could like this, but I'm not sure teenagers would, would enjoy it. But I think there's a small window of maybe maybe nine to twelve, thirteen year olds who would actually get it. Particularly mm -hmm. girls. If if I had seen this when I was that age, I would have loved it. <laughs> Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Uh, my quibble is, because I'm a visual person, there was um, what I think was actually a mistake in that, um, okay, we gave away that the parents died mm -hmm. twice, so the baboon is the mother. The scar that's on the mother's face is on the wrong side for the, on the baboon's face. So that, um, um, that kind of stuff bugs me, <laughs> but that, uh -huh. that was my only real quibble about it. Um, it's definitely an older, older kid's movie and definitely an mm -hmm. adult movie. Adults will love this. I can understand yeah. what you're saying about the nuances of the story. We might as well um, go into age level now since we're, okay. we're talking about it. Yeah. I actually... What would you put the age level at? At least 10 and up and maybe mm. even 13 and up. I think teenagers actually would appreciate it more than okay. younger kids. You know... I think teenagers would get the art of it, and I think they'd get some of the subtleties and the metaphor and the stuff like that mm -hmm. that that will definitely play to adults. But I'm not sure 12 and down would be that interested. Well, like, you know, I would have been at that age. I would have yeah, loved but, this. But uh, you're, you're a fairy tale nerd. Well. And, and always were. Okay, if your kid's a fairy tale nerd... <laughs> They yes. will like. If your kids are if your kids are fairy tale nerds, this yeah. will blow them away. But it is very scary in parts. The the mm -hmm. the sisters who are witches scared me. I mean, they're very eerie. And, yeah. And um, so there there was definitely some Im images in there that were frightening. There's a lot of scary. Um, in yeah. This. There's yeah. a lot of scary. But the ending was magical, and I just felt such wonder and hope at the end that it made up for all the scary. <laughs> You could not have earned that ending without the scary. Yeah, but I'm yeah. not sure that... Okay, it made up for the scary. I'm not sure it made up for the sadness. Oh, it was beautiful. Are you kidding yeah. me? Oh, it was totally made up yeah. for the sadness. No, I'm sorry. Not necessarily. No, it did. It did. It was... Yeah. I was just charmed and, and loved it. Mm -hmm. Just absolutely loved the ending. How beautiful the the image of... The world mm -hmm. was and the afterlife and all yeah. of that I thought was wonderful. Yeah, I yeah. will say if you're looking for a lyrical movie, this, this yes. definitely yeah. fit that criteria. Yeah, yeah I agree. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to ask you how many tickets you're going to give it because I'm guessing you know it's going to be well, less than me. Well, <laughs> actually, I'm going to surprise you because I'm going to judge it for what it is rather than for what it isn't. It's not, I think, really a kid's movie. But judging it for what it is, it's a solid four. Um, but maybe even judging it for what it is as, as like a young adult or adult fairy tale, four and a half. It's a beautiful, 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 fragile, lyrical, metaphorical fairy tale. Um, and yeah, four and a half. This is my first five. I'm giving it five tickets because... I thought it was spectacular. This is one I want to see over and over and over again. Mm -hmm. it, it, it takes that extra step for me and is one that will live in my memory for a very long time. Yeah. Okay. And that's our review of Kubo and the Two Strings. Um, check out our YouTube channel. Leave us a comment. Sign up for it. And we'll see you at the movies. <laughs>